Uh, but this is an absolute honor. Superstar of the NWSL of Gotham FC. We got to hang out with her a little bit when we were doing the fashion uh, sort of uh, commentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're a part of the show. We were part of the uh, fashion show. Well, I mean, absolute honor. But we cannot wait uh, to have her on the show, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only. Put your hands together for Mitch Purse, everybody. Hi, thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, oh, absolutely this honored. This is, uh, like I said, it's an absolute honor uh, for us. Not only because uh, you know you are uh, legitimate. I mean, just. A, a bright, rising, shining star in in this league, in American soccer. Uh, it is, there's a, there's, I mean, I know you must sense it and feel it. Like everybody, the, the, the mentions are going crazy. Everybody's talking about Mitch Purse, whether it's, it's usually, oh, it's usually always about, uh, a, you know, an amazing play or people angry that you're not getting the playing time that you deserve <laughs> on the national team. Uh, I mean, you, you, what is that sort of feeling like? like or just you know everybody's kind of talking about you the, the last like definitely the last like 12 months um it doesn't feel that way because i just you know i get on the phone with my dad and he's like what are you doing <laughs> it's just like the same thing <laughs> as, as always so it doesn't really feel like everyone's talking about me <laughs> but those are kind things that i'm i'm like flattered if that's what's being said about me um yeah, I'd love more playing time. And thanks for <laughs> recognition of anything like the off chance I do something like kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, even if you go back to your days in college, you have just sort of this uh, inclination to be a leader. I mean, you hung out at the White House, you know, and you're from Silver Springs, Maryland, if I'm not mistaken. That's a big deal. Yeah, no, I live very like pretty close to the White House. And I've actually I've been before as a child, actually, Um so it wasn't my first time, but I was kind of shocked that more people didn't jump at that opportunity, <laughs> to be quite <laughs> honest. It was kind of like a, an open thing and people were like, eh, I have training. And I was like, training? What? <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with Biden. What the hell is on my training? I hang out with the VP. Why not? Yeah. I was like, where's Kamala? Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> she was so okay. busy. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know what? Uh, b before we uh, get into other conversation, we obviously we have to talk about uh, the recent news in NWSL. I mean, not only... Uh, y y just the kind of shocking news uh, to uh, uh, to a lot of people, but the the response. I mean, the, the last few weeks, the 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 level of of unity and uh, amongst the players, and, and really, you know, uh, you know, and, and those stoppages in the games, the the, the weekend that n no games happened, uh, really showing like this is an issue that needs to be addressed as a, as a young player and really a. a kind of future leader in this league, whether you want that responsibility or not, <laughs> I feel like it's heading in that direction. But what was your uh, feeling like as a young player and trying to kind of make sense of everything going on? My feelings definitely were cyclic going in between. You know, I was heartbroken for a lot of the stories I've heard that were not in the press. I was heartbroken to hear the stories in the press. Um, I was angry. It makes me angry for people who, who go through traumatic experiences like that. And I was also really disgusted. I was disgusted by the reaction that, you know, a lot of the outside world gave to it. You know, I, I actually don't spend a ton of time on social media, but when you go on and, and you see an article like that posted and you see comments, um, just like really sexist, sexist comments about women in sport and, and where they should be. And, and you're just like, are you reading the same thing I'm reading? Are you like understanding the, the severity of what's happening? And you have the audacity to like crack. It's not, it's not a joke. Like just, just to be demeaning and condescending to women in that way. Like that, that to me, I think, because I'm, I don't know. I, I find it really hard sometimes uh, when I just see people online not have that kind of empathy that you'd have to someone that I think you'd have um, face to face. But right. then you get online and people and people definitely lose it. But that's that's the world we live in today. And I, I was just really sad for for a lot of the the women and, and the experiences I heard. But um, I was also really empowered by the way people came together to, to make sure that we can have the transformational change that we absolutely need. And um, 
I'm just, I'm super hopeful. I'm super energized. And I just, I'm like on board to do whatever every, like the people in these positions feel needs to be done to protect players going forward. Um, and I'm just lending all, every ounce of myself to that, um, that is needed or wanted. So I'm, I'm really hopeful for the future and I'm happy for, um, a, a pivotal, like changing point. Yeah. I mean, it's such a shame that, you know, you just want to play sports and there's all these other things, that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, you're fighting for equal pay. You're fighting for so many different things. And now on top of that, there's all of these, uh, you know, charges and whatnot. But at the bit, at the end of the day, I think one of the benefits for those of us looking on the outside in is how the players came together and protected each other. And that's something that's a, that's a beautiful thing. You also work, um, a lot with the black women's player coalition. Uh, why don't you, first of all, beautiful new logo. Um, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Right? Um, why don't you talk you a little like, bit did about Did she make it? Did he make it? <laughs> they just, I think they just released it not too long ago. And I'm like, all right, okay. I know. I know my reaction suggests that I designed it unilaterally. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, yeah. yeah. Your invoice yeah. has been sent. <laughs> While half, half of the board was at the Olympics, I was uh, helping design <laughs> that, that logo. So I did actually have like a huge hand in, in designing it. Um, but it was BBMG who we outsourced for that. So like total props to them. They were absolutely fantastic. It was five young women who did it. And like, I'm like a hard person to please aesthetically because I watch a lot of HGTV. <laughs> so Ooh. I feel like I know what I want. And when it's not that, I'm like, mm, go back. <laughs> like that's not, that's not right. You're like, would this so logo like, make it on Property Brothers? I don't think so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, it's it's th it's statements like that that make me terrified to buy a home with my fiance. You know, because the, it's going to be very difficult. She watches all the all those shows. The bar is set way too high. I'm just I'm like, honey, I don't make enough money to give yeah. you this life. You know. <laughs> you should feel privileged that she knows what she likes because. There's Okay. so many <laughs> options out there i'm like yeah i know she's done yeah. the research for you she's informed right and educated. right there's yeah, also a lot of options of wealthier men, so this, yeah, it gets yeah. competitive out there. I really She's have to step my game. the board, Christian, <laughs> apparently. Houses, men, whatever, whatever she wants. It's really her world. Everton wins at Anfield for the first time since 1999. I mean, just think about how baggy our jeans were back then, Alexis. Oh, it, it was a different fit the time. Squad in my <laughs> jeans back then. Okay, we, we were rocking Jerbo. We were rocking Echo. All I right, had a Parasuco with the stripe <laughs> down the side. Okay, you couldn't even see 95% of my Tims. They were covered in <laughs> denim. <laughs> When you look at your role uh, in, in NWSL, is leadership something that you strive uh, to, to sort of uphold? Or is it something that tends to fall on your lap? Or is it just because there's Harvard on your resume? And <laughs> yeah, you there's a lot, of, there's a lot of pressure there with the, <laughs> with the resume. <laughs> um, no, it's not anything I've strived for, if I'm being quite honest. I'm like really passionate about service. And I think sometimes today those two words actually kind of get conflated. And I think like when, when I'm meaning to like serve someone or serve a purpose or like a group of people, it, it often is like received as leadership, which is, which is really cool. But like in my head, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not leading. I'm like serving. Right, <laughs> so right. service is really important to me. And sometimes like they're not mutually exclusive. Sometimes they like run across the same lines and sometimes they don't. But um, yeah, I just like to help in any way that I can and, and be of service any way I can. So sometimes it ends up being like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, already I'm been, we've been speaking for just a couple minutes, but the humility is strong. I'm like, man, I feel, I'm like, I gotta, do, I gotta do better in my own life. Okay. Right. If this was a creative player, my humility would slide all the way to zero. I'd be like, I earned this. I'm the greatest. Of course you're going to ask me to be a leader. You feel me? Who else? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, and, and speaking of your uh, your personality and character, we we did get to um, hang out a little bit during uh, the the Gotham uh, FC Latinx night, which we got to host that night. That was an absolute honor Incredible. for us. Uh, and and the, really, the you know, I was excited about the game. Unfortunately, you were still injured and you you couldn't play in that game. But the 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 fits the Gotham FC fits we've spoken about this so much and we got to be a part of it do some we got to do some commentary we got to be a part of it but there were when you when you sh- showed everybody was like yo where's Mitch where's Mitch what is she gonna <laughs> what's she bringing today like it is a, a, a who a is she culture- wearing you know? <laughs> <laughs> it is a cultural event and you came through with the swag okay yeah. the 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 it, there's how much thought how much thought is is uh you know how 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 much thought has gone into the, these moments and before the games has do you feel like this has bonded uh the players because it's the fans love it it's definitely bonded a cohort of the players but like our team ranges from like what are you about to wear to i really don't care <laughs> like don't yeah. put me on the screen <laughs> to like I'm, I like, I'm going to (laughs) try, like, but (laughs) I'm going to try. And then Mandy Freeman comes through with all the colors. It's like, it's like, I'm going to give like minimal effort to like, if it hits, then like I hit, but if it didn't, like I didn't try. (laughs) So like, there's like (laughs) definitely a range and it has brought people together in those groups. For sure. Dude. But yeah. I would feel so much pressure. I'd be like, it's National Donut Day, so I got to dress like something that represents that. You know what I mean? I would have so much pressure on me. I would hate it. There's also, we noticed there were some of the players who were like, whatever, I'll hold the bags. You do the walk. (laughs) Like, we ain't trying to be in this. Listen, our team is like, I think we're doing so well because we're just like, we know our roles and it goes off the field, you know, like, you know, like I know on the field, like if I see this ball in the air and there's a challenge, I'm like, "Mm, Carly, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, bring the enforcer for those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see like big bodies clashing. I go. Mm, not for me. <laughs> okay. So, and I, I think that's the same thing that happens when, like, we're walking down. We're like, eh, runway, not me. <laughs> Holding the bag, <laughs> not me. Right, and right. we all just like, yeah. And we're all. It's like there's no like ego in it. It's great. <laughs> yeah, that's and that, and that's and I think that speaks to uh, especially how Gotham are are playing now. Obviously, you know, I, I don't think it's you know me saying anything crazy to say that you were missed, and it's uh, I oh. think a lot of people are happy to have have you back, and uh, f- you know, fighting for uh, to maintain that playoff spot, a big win against uh, North Carolina, uh, uh, some goals uh, from Mitch Purse, which which was I'm sure felt great. Um, what is the the you know ever since you been back and you were out with an injury for a bit what's been that feeling like and what's it like now for with that playoff push for for Gotham FC yeah I think you know being out after the summer and like the Olympics and everything like it made me miss it so much more um and like have way more fun now than I was having before I think like the break sometimes the world forces you to take a break when you don't like realize you need it. And it was longer than I would have liked. Like it was like one game out. I watched and I was like, all right, I get it. Like I was taking it for granted. Like I'm ready to be back. And then like six games later, it was like seven games. And I was like, all right, I like, I was like really wanting to be back, but it was really hard watching, but I was really proud of everyone for like, they did so well. Efi, like I was like, does your back hurt? Like she freaking, (laughs) yeah, she was doing great. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) She's like, like tying games, just like keeping points. And, and like, she did, she did fantastic. And just being back with everyone, I just feel I was, it's been fun. And like to be able to have a playoff run, I haven't, oh, I guess I did with the thorns, but I didn't really <laughs> like, <laughs> it wasn't the same. <laughs> this, like, I'm like, I'm so excited. Like I was talking to Mandy Freeman yesterday and I was just like, we can win. I was like, we can have a home like semi game. Like we can get a buy. Like this is insane. And I've always wanted to take that picture with like cigars, like winning something. And I haven't won anything like nothing like in a group setting since like the Ivy league where I didn't have a cigar, which is also (laughs) unexpected 
because they all there's a ton of cigars in Cambridge. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm I'm like so pumped and everyone's so excited. What about for the uh, women's national team? There's this theory going around that you know as this sort of era ages itself out of the game, that the next era may not have it the same way. You know that other nations have sort of quote unquote caught up. You, I picture you as sort of that next generation of the women's national team. What are your thoughts on people who say that? Um, I think that's really flattering. Uh, what I've learned is just that, like, you really have no idea. Even if you think, like, someone's trajectory on the national team is going some way. And, and, and you may even be validated by how their trajectory goes, like, later, like, seeing it. You have, like, no idea what they're thinking. You have no idea, like, which way it's going to go. So... I'm hopeful and I'm focused on just performing. And that's always been the goal of mine, like the pinnacle. Like I want to like, not just get there. I want to stay there. I want to win world cup. So I hope that's the case. And I hope I can, you know, earn those spots and, and service that idea. Yeah. Right. It's always about um, making Vlaco's decision tougher and tougher when making, <laughs> uh, making those choices. I mean, I know you mentioned the Olympics. A lot of people, also really wanted you to be there. Yeah. It, it's it's interesting because we are in, we're obviously all our timelines. We're in the soccer bubble. We're in the NWSL bubble. Everybody's talking. It, we're in the echo chamber and Midge is loud in here. Okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a whole lot of mention. <laughs> they're, you know? they're screaming your name. Uh, so that's what I was mentioning up top about how people, uh, you know, obviously you have just so much support, but it's clearly uh, very well earned is, you know, we've heard plenty of stories of, of our past national team players being maybe just missing the cut, not making a team, but then, you know, thriving the next time they get a, an opportunity. It, did that feel like that or is it is it something that you does, does it like fuel you uh, for those next opportunities? Yeah, I think in sports, there's this like narrative and this storyline that something traumatic happens to you and then it fuels you for the next thing. And I like, I had this conversation with Crystal and we were just like, no, <laughs> like I, <laughs> or at least so like sweet. in my, <laughs> no, yeah. it doesn't. It's like, to me, I was just like, my tank was a hundred percent full and it's real cute when everyone's like, give 110%, even though, you know, you can't, there's literally a hundred percent, like that's the cap. And I'm like, this happening to me doesn't make my fuel tank bigger it didn't add fuel i had peak fuel i was already yeah, yeah. motivated <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like i was ready to go just, <laughs> yeah i like i'm ready this just sucked <laughs> yeah. and so like people are like are you are you like more motivated i'm like no i'm exactly the same amount of motivated <laughs> like you couldn't i couldn't have gotten more more motivation right, i'm maybe right. just a bit more mature maybe a bit wiser and, you know, maybe a bit more negative, <laughs> like possibly. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're up. Why, why can't you be out for revenge? That's fine. Yeah. You know? yeah Chip on your shoulder. Sure, Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's, but it's, yeah. I'm a yeah, petty. Fascinating. Betty. I get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> because even oh, especially yeah. with, you mentioned Crystal, Crystal Dunn's uh, story is, has been, like it could be a movie now. Like I've heard it so often, and it's been like the motive. It could it could be like a coming of age story that we all use to make ourselves feel better, right? <laughs> but yes. I, it's interesting how and not a it, Hallmark it, I, movie. No, <laughs> like a real movie. <laughs> Michael, Michael Bay directing it. Why are there explosions on the field? Yes. <laughs> I'm on the subway. Someone's like, could you help me with this baby up the stairs? I'm like, no, who the f*** would you have a baby? You know what I mean? <laughs> so my wife's like, yo, why are you being me that lady? I'm like, because I know the scam. I carry the baby up the stairs. The lady hits me over the head. Baby steals my wallet. I steal it. <laughs> We 
we have some questions uh, uh-huh. from fa- from fans. These are our supporters. These are called the Gully Squad, and they uh, they're, they're huge fans of you. So we gotta we, we gotta get to uh, some of these. All right. So uh, okay, first one. This comes from Lura McCoy. She happens to be an Orlando Pride fan, interestingly enough. But but she's a huge fan of you. Uh, she says, um, uh, I know you have a. I know you're young and have a long career ahead of you. But uh, would you be interested in being a GM of a team or the commissioner of the league? one day no <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll scratch it okay <laughs> okay yeah it's a, it's a you know it's a, it's a big uh a big i mean a, a gm you know i mean a nwsl commissioner requires you know obviously a lot of responsibility it is a it is a complicated job right for the commissioner of any league but a gm you don't think you can uh you know find the talent and put together a team you don't think that that's no interest to you can I, or do I want? You oh, ask yeah, it, more interest. I, I'm sure you're 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. capable. She's like, of course I could do it, but do I want to? <laughs> no. Think, I, I truthfully think like any Indiversal player, not any, but most would be very good GMs. I think like being in the league, you know exactly like what like what kind of player you need in which situations, what's effective. But no, it doesn't sound very fun. Like it doesn't sound. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, we got a question from Douglas Reyes Saron, uh, who's a he's a Washington Spear fan. But he said uh, when when uh, Midge was in Portland, what was the culture there like, and what did you think about it? And I know uh, Portland gets a lot of credit for their fan culture, uh, but when it comes to to women's uh, soccer, really well supported. What was that like for you to get a chance to play there at that time and see the fan base and how much they support it? Yeah, till I die, like. I'm like a ride or die, like Riveters, like Stan, like they're, those fans are insane. I don't even like to call them fans. I call them the 12th man all the time because they, it, they are the 12th man. It is like, they, they help, they help a lot. And like, I just wish that every single like player would get a chance to play with the, that kind of support for them. Cause it's really, it's sick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this question is from uh, from Abe. He asked, uh, he, it was just kind of a silly question, but he says, what do you think is your best position and why won't Vlot go play you there? <laughs> you do not have to answer that. <laughs> I mean, I know that's always a, uh, uh, it, it's a, it's a <laughs> tough thing. You want to play on the national team. Obviously, you want to play in the position that you would uh, are more most comfortable, but obviously getting the call up must feel, uh, I, I'm sure it's an honor regardless, but what's that kind of tussling with that and that challenge of like, uh, I, you know, about wanting th- th- that individual, uh, uh, kind of that individual shine or wanting that individual opportunity and then what's sort of best for the team. Um, when it comes to the national team, I think it's such a coveted position that it wasn't it was never about like what was best for me it was like whatever it takes to be here and stay here like I did not care I'd play center back if you needed me to goalkeeper I would play anywhere (laughs) so (laughs) I'm just like I'm like ready to learn anything and receive everything I just I love playing for the national team okay okay that's amazing and I just, we have one more question. It's from Luke Sergio. Uh, he wants to know, what's it like being one of the biggest BAMFs, uh, badass <laughs> uh, to come out of Harvard? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I need to know, like, how he meant that. Did he mean, like, I was fine? Or did he mean, like, I'm, like, cool? Like, <laughs> I'm No, yeah, sure. I think it's a sporting question. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> but take it however I you like. like whatever yeah, it's most flattering. Whichever way you want. <laughs> preferred the former (laughs) that would be a really cool title to have i mean natalie portman was there so she's definitely probably like really up there love her (laughs) Um, well you and alexis have a lot in common yes wholeheartedly agree (laughs) big natalie portman fan yeah he has to see one of her movies one day no i'm joking (laughs) she's great she's a great actress no she's the most respectful he's ever been about Natalie (laughs) portman
Mitch, thank you so much uh, uh, for joining us. We have a couple th- uh, pieces of business before we let you go. We have to get to our Galasso gift. This is where uh, we give you an opportunity to celebrate a goal. Alexis will give you a scenario. You will celebrate it, and we will turn it into a gift that will live on the internet uh, forever. So, Alexis, what do you think, uh, Midge? Uh, what, what scenario do you have for her? All right, you're coming up for a penalty. It's the last penalty of the match. You score, you win. And uh, Vlaco whispers in your ear, you score, you pick whatever position you want. <laughs> you get to play and, wherever you want. <laughs> and you score. How do you celebrate that? <laughs> How do you celebrate that goal? <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I is he's on the field? I just you just score. <laughs> there you go. The dad, the dad. <laughs> I'll see you at the team meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you made the right decision, Blago. We're good. All right. <laughs> All right. Amazing, great. Mitch. Thank you so much for joining us. Seriously, absolute honor. Thank you for uh, you know sharing uh, some stories, some jokes, and 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 talking about some of the some of the serious stuff that's going on. Is um uh can uh, is there anything you want to uh, promote or anything you want to let people know about before we let you go? Yeah, at one hundred percent, P U R C E N T. That's right. Yeah. I'm one of the best usernames <laughs> out there. Yeah. Without it, so doubt. jealous. <laughs> Oh, guys, they, I fought my brother real hard for that one. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> he, got, he got stuck with the persuasion. It's not quite the same. Ah, oh, no, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That get sounds this, like a wrestler. Get this creep off the internet. Yeah. Ew, dude. <laughs> Why you got a smoke machine in your house, dude? <laughs> right. All due respect to the, yeah, the first brother. Yeah, obviously, we've never met your brother. <laughs> Uh, everybody, make sure you follow us at Soccer Cooligans on all social channels. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the Fubo Sports YouTube channel. Follow uh, Fubo Sports uh, on all socials as well. Uh, Mitch, absolute honor. Thank you so much this for joining amazing. us. Yeah, this is so, so fun. Uh, you, the bandana, the chain, absolutely crushed it today. Uh, so <laughs> let, let us end the show the way we normally do as is tradition. So please, Mitch, join us in this. So for Mitch Purse, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. And together, what are we? The cooling I don't have my acrylic. <laughs>